for the distraught, confused, starving artist out there, you're selling an idea. You're selling a community and you're selling an identity. And you need people to buy in. Glad to join many of your friends in wishing you the best of this day. And then thanking you for another year of making us laugh and making us think. If you want people to buy in to what you're selling, you have to realize what you're actually selling. Because it's no longer that you're just selling the book or selling the art print or selling the commission or doing the videography work. If you're a creator and you are a creative making art, you are selling every step in the process. And you have to be intelligent about it. You have to get creative about how you sell it. I think it's important to start by offering things free and to always maintain having some free value. But I think it's delusional to identify with the starving artist and say you're always gonna give your work away for free or you're only gonna sell your work when it's the final top-notch quality. People pay to know how you think to know why you think, to know what you think about. You're an artist, you have a special brain. I can't emphasize that enough. Just the fact that you're making something is special, is worth buying into. So get clear on the identity that you're um, modeling. Get clear on the community that you're building so people know what they're in for and tell them and be specific you know if you paint draw if you make collages of flowers and famous people what does that mean what is the community that makes that are you a community of collage artists or is the message behind the pictures more important if it is make that the community make that the identity and so I think it's important that you give out souvenirs along the way. Your sellables, your merchandise is the easy thing that comes to mind. But it's so much more than that. If you look at Patreon, people have gotten really clever. You know, you can sell exclusive podcast episodes. You can sell um, art prints that you would never release otherwise. You can show behind the scenes videos and you can charge for that. People will pay to see extra if they are a raving fan, if they have bought in, if you have sold them. If you have sold them on the identity, the idea that if I pay for more, if I follow this artist more avidly, I am becoming more of that identity. I'm becoming closer to that community. And don't feel guilty about that. Because you are doing them a service if you've sold yourself right, if you positioned yourself right. I want to feel like the person who knows what great art looks like. So I buy certain artists, prints, I want people to think of me as the person who's an avid fan of the Beatles, so I have their posters in my room. I want people to think that I'm an outdoorsy nature person, so I have a big mountain tapestry on my wall and I wear uh, raincoats like this. You see, we want all these identities and it's not a bad thing. In fact, it's healthy. It's healthy to spread out your identity. And I'm always looking for more. If tomorrow I saw something and it was all about um, watches being painted into these intricate um, Aztec designs, I might buy one. I don't know. That's a new identity. That would be a new community I'm a part of, the watch wearing community. If I was sold on that idea, I would want that identity and I would pay to get closer to that identity. 
So my final piece is on the community aspect. If you build a community, the people who want to feel like they belong in that will come and they are willing to pay. We have Facebook groups that you can make private and you can charge a small or a big amount and people will come if you've sold them. People want to know how the artist thinks, what they think about, why they think the way they think. It's important because people strive for certain identities that some people already have and they're willing to take the shortcut and spend a little bit of money to get closer to there. You are doing those people a service when you offer the souvenirs to make them feel like they belong. So it starts with the great work, the great art, but it finishes with the souvenirs and giving people an opportunity to buy in. For myself, I'm selling hats and I'm designing hoodies and it's fun to me. But I'm also giving the people who want to identify as the creator, as the crazy artist, I'm giving those people the opportunity to align with that. I'm gonna be creating a community where people can um, come together and feel like they're surrounded by artists at the same starting point as them. Those are the people I want on my team, on my tribe. So find your people. Identify who you want them to be. And then seek to sell them. So that they can buy in. And they can keep you doing what you want to do for the rest of your life. See me this